channel. My name is Paige. If you've never seen my face before, please consider subscribing before you leave. Also, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. So today, I am super excited because you guys have been loving this video for the past, gosh, is it three years? Is this the third year I've done this video? This particular video is probably in my top five favorite videos that I do every year. I love the fall. I would have to say it's my absolute favorite. Christmas comes right underneath fall, but I just love fall. I don't know what it is about the fall that I just love it so much. This is definitely my favorite time of year. I did get married in the fall, but I loved it far before I ever got married. So combining two of my loves, which is decorating and my favorite season and just putting them all together in this video. This is probably why I love it so much. And you guys seem to love it probably even more so than I do, which makes my life just fan-freaking-tastic. So today, not only are you gonna be getting a decorate with me, but you're also gonna be getting a decorate with my really good friend, Alexandra. Yo, this chick is like goals. She is complete life goals. Her house is house goals. She is everything. I love her. I love her bubbly personality. I love her aesthetic. I love all of the pink. Give me all the pink that she has in her home. I absolutely love it. Her kitchen is to die for. You guys are gonna absolutely love her. If you don't already watch her content now, you guys will after this video because you're just going to fall in love with her. I will make sure to have her video linked down below in the description box. I cannot wait to see what she's putting together for fall this year. I know it's going to be beautiful because literally everything this girl touches is beautiful. So I cannot wait to see what she's done. If you love fall just as much as your girl does, go ahead and go down to the comments down below and leave me a comment about your favorite fall essential. What is your must have thing that you just gotta have every fall season? I can't wait to read your comments. With Hocus Pocus going on in the background, I'm going to light a candle. I got me some coffee. I'm feeling the fall vibes this morning. I am so excited to get this started. So today, you're gonna to be decorating with me in our living room area. If you're interested in seeing what the rest of the house looks like after I decorate it for fall, make sure to come on back for another Fall Fridays with Paige. I will have that video go up in just a couple weeks. So without any further ado, let's get this house in the fall spirit. For me, scent plays a very important role with everything. So I feel like I just have to set the atmosphere, the mood. So first things first, gotta change out those summer scented candles to my fall scented. And flannel is definitely one of my favorites. Here are some of my other favorites this year. Definitely a Bath & Body Works candle junkie. I have them for all the seasons. I, I love candles. I love the ambiance they create. I love the scent. I don't know, they're just, they just are everything for me. So flannel, definitely at the top of my list. So I'm going to be lighting that. And that was a fresh new one. So I'm going to go ahead and light that. They're on the ottoman. And it will just fill the room and really get me into that fall spirit. Because it's not that cool outside. Which I think is a reason why a lot of people are kind of hesitant to jump on the fall train. Just because it does not at all feel like fall. Um, but that is definitely helping me get in that mood. I was super, super excited until I started opening these bins and seeing all of the stuff. All of the stuff. Like, where did it come from? I don't remember having half of this. I normally like to lay my stuff out just to get an, a good idea of what I'm working with, but this just quickly became very, very overwhelming for me. I had no idea I had all this stuff. I knew I did have this garland here that I found at Hobby Lobby last year. Uh, after fall was over so I got it at an amazing amazing steal so this was something new so I was trying to figure out the placement exactly where I wanted to put it in our house I definitely would love to have a fireplace with a mantle and that's exactly where that would go but because we don't have that fireplace and mantle that I'm just imagining in my head <laughs> um, one day that is definitely at the top of my list when looking for a new house uh, but I'm just gonna play around with it that's the thing that I do a lot when I'm decorating, no matter the season, no matter the item that I'm actually decorating with. I just play around with it, moving it from one place to the next just to see how it feels in all of the different areas. And sometimes it might end up in a totally different room than I may have 
plan for in the beginning. So definitely don't be afraid to just move things around. It definitely helps you just get a new perspective on things. So you will notice that I move a lot, a lot of stuff around. I didn't even get all of the clips of me moving stuff around because it kind of just becomes redundant <laughs> and it's just like a mind game to me constantly moving things around but I do eventually make sense of everything so I can't wait for you guys to see what I ended up going with. My entryway is definitely one of my favorite places to decorate for all the seasons. It's also my most complicated and aggravating but I love the way it finally looks when I finally figure out what I want to do. I don't know if this is going to be the way that it stays. I decorate as I go. I just pick things up, move them around. I constantly move things around. I do that every single time I decorate. That's just how I get down. Right now what's bothering me about this is the fact that I have all this green over here and not really any green over here. I like to balance the sides. I like to make sure that the sides are balanced. So we got all this green. I have a little bit of green in the leaves on this right here. I don't know. I did move these from my bedroom. I think those look really good right there. I'm loving all of the deeper toned wood colors in here for fall this year. I think that looks really good. This was a sign that was made by one of my wonderful subscribers. I will leave her Instagram link down below. I don't know. I have no idea. I get a little overwhelmed every single season that I pull stuff out. I'm immediately really excited and then I start opening bins and see everything that's in the bin and I get overwhelmed but it's totally okay. That's why we're only taking it one room at a time. So I'm working on this room which is the main room in the house and then I can go put little things throughout the rest of the house. But for the most part I typically just decorate in here, the dining room and the kitchen. Um, and that's about it. Something that's super easy is changing out some pieces on our collage wall. I do have a couple pieces that I like to interchange each season, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that because that's super easy. decided against changing my collage wall. <laughs> I feel like the dimensions just aren't right because I did change my collage wall at the beginning of the year, I think. It's been recently changed and I still love it and I love how neutral it is and it goes with every season. So now I'm thinking I just might put these throughout the house or get rid of them. I don't know. Being the center of the room, I definitely want to make sure that the ottoman has a really nice focal point on it. So I went ahead and draped this really pretty plaid blanket across there. It just embodies all of the colors that I'm decorating with for this fall. And I went ahead and put that garland there on the entertainment center while I'm watching one of the best Hocus Pocus. We build a pass on stone you guys seen that I went ahead and put that piece of garland in front of the TV. I'm digging it, I think. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about that. That was a piece that I actually was able to snatch up at the end of the season last year from Hobby Lobby. It was 80% off when I got it. So I think I ended up spending like, I think it was like $7 or something. It was like seriously, ridiculously cheap when I got it. Now I am still rearranging this entry table. I just don't know what I want to do. And I just, I don't know. I do have some lamb's ear in this little vase here on the entryway table. I do want to integrate some other things with it so it's just not the lamb's ear. I have stuck a little stem of cotton in it. I'm not necessarily sure if I love that. I may end up having to take a trip to Hobby Lobby just to find something that's longer with some orange because this side of the table is definitely missing orange. Something else that I have to replace are these yellow flowers. I'm thinking of like really tall wheat. 
Um, I did see a little like bundle of stems at Hobby Lobby. I think it had like a frosted eucalyptus and like some muted colored pumpkins and just different like stems and stuff. So I need something pretty tall to go in this right here. When Hobby Lobby stuff goes 50% off, I will be changing that out, which I'm hoping is soon. I actually need to check right now to see if it's on sale yet or not. I know their Christmas stuff went 40% off, so I'm hoping the fall stuff goes down to 50. I don't know how I feel about this right there. I might change those. <laughs> oh, well, let me show you something that I've done over here, and let me get your feedback on it. It may be a little hard to tell because I got so much stuff on this ottoman right now. Um, let's just ignore that. Push that over there. But I picked this up at Ross, and this was like the first thing that I think that I picked up while I was in there that day. The reason that I fell in love with this piece was because it brought all of my colors together in one. I felt like I was having such a hard time finding a piece that had the oranges and the whites in it. Either it was just like all of that white beige and that muted green, or it was all the bright orange. And I wanted something that was going to integrate the both of them. So I'm thinking maybe I'm going to put it here. I don't know. I always have something that I put here, but I don't want it to be like ridiculously huge or super tall because we do watch TV in here. I don't want to block the line of sight. And I kind of wanted this to be a nice little focal point because it has all those colors in it. I try to keep this area really simple, so I added the blanket here, which is another way of bringing all the colors in. You definitely have to wait and see what it looks like in the home tour that I do a little bit later. That way you'll see all of the madness come together in my mind because right now I just I don't really know I don't know what direction I'm going in I don't remember having all these pumpkins you're not even seeing all of the pumpkins I have pumpkins up there in that bin and why did I buy that blue pumpkin <laughs> oh story of my life story of my life all right well, let's jump back into it and figure our life out here shall we So I changed that out. This is actually the first year that this would be getting decorated for fall. I added that shelf this past spring. So this is the first time I'm doing this little shelf area over here. And I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Much like everything else. I don't know. I have rearranged this entryway table a hundred thousand million times. And I did change out the little, um, is it called a cloche? A cloche? A cloche? I don't know, let me show you what I'm talking about. So this little thing here had some like decorative bowl filler in it and I decided just to add a little pumpkin in it. Technically this is like a cheese thing, but I like using it as decor. I got it at Kirkland's for like real cheap on the clearance rack. Um, but I thought that was super cute in there. It gives it a little pop of orange over here to the massive entertainment center that we have yet to decide what we're going to do with. Let me give you a closer look of the shelf and you can leave me some comments down below. Tell me what you think about this little shelf. This is one of the beautiful things about Decorate With Me because you guys can help and just give me your opinion. But I will say up front, if you say something in the comments and later on in the tour you see that I did not listen to you, don't take it personal because we all have our own way of doing things. I do like to read your suggestions because a lot of times it gets my mind going and I may end up going in a totally different direction than I thought that I would in the beginning. Um, so yeah, let me show you this a little bit closer. So everything up here is pretty much from Hobby Lobby with the exception of those flowers. I think that's like just some random ones that I found at Dollar Tree and just put them all together. I, I don't know if I like that because it's just kind of over there, but I definitely wanted to bring a little bit more color, that little harvest sign. I always have problems with that every year and I kind of wish that I would have never bought it and the reason why is because it's kind of hard to read. I don't know if I should just start all over because I don't love it and until I love it, it's going to drive me crazy. Does anybody else work that way? I don't know. I think I might have finally got the entryway table the way that I'm liking it. 
moment, which is making me very happy. I think what will make a huge difference is when I find those floral pieces for that vase and then the big thing on the floor that has the yellow flowers. I think that will make a huge difference over there. As far as all the pillows go, you guys know that I change out my pillow covers seasonally. I did buy this new pillow right here. See that pillow? Right over there. I did buy that pillow at Ross. It's a circle pillow. It's that really nice deep olive tone. I really like it. One, because it gives the pillows a different kind of shape. So you're not all looking at the same style pillow, all those square pillows. And I also picked up that longer buffalo check pillow. It's sort of like that lumbar style pillow. But I do think, now that I'm thinking, I think I have a fall pillow somewhere in this house. Because I never got rid of those navy blue like velvety style pillows from last fall because i just love them all year round i'm gonna leave those out they pull some of those deep blues out that i really love so i'm gonna leave those and then the leather pillowcases, those come from Amazon. I'll link those down below. I get so many questions about them. I debated on buying these for the longest, longest time because they were on the pricey side. And I don't know, I did not want to buy them, but I loved, I loved them. And it gives a different texture to the couch. And they have like an orange tone, so it definitely goes with fall. So I don't think I'm going to be changing out any pillow covers this year, which is shocking. I know. I definitely don't want to spoil the end results with you guys, so I think I'm going to end it here. Don't forget to head over to my girl Alexandra's YouTube channel to see her video. I cannot wait to see what she's done. I feel like it's going to have a bit of like a girly touch to it just because of all the pinks that are in her house. So I cannot wait to see it because I am thinking about putting some fall touches in my office or my studio for the season. I think that would be really cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please make sure to leave down any recommendations, any suggestions that you have for me with all of the stuff that I've shown you so far. I'm looking around and um, yes, I'm overwhelmed. Yep, I am. I'm going to try to clean up some just to get some things off the floor and off some different areas so I can try to finish up. I will have a fall clean with me up next week for Fall Fridays with Paige. I know you guys have been asking for that. If you watch this video until now, then you will know firsthand that there will be a giveaway in next week's video. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. Well guys, I'm going to go ahead and try to tackle all this stuff and make sense of everything and not be so overwhelmed in my mind. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've already started decorating or if you haven't and you're posting photos of your home decor on Instagram, please make sure to use the tag Fall Fridays with Paige so I can head over there and check out your stuff. I would love to see what you guys have done this year. I always look to photos for some inspiration in my home and I just love that you guys take the time to share your decorations with me. So if you do, please make sure to use that hashtag so that I can see all of those. I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day y'all. Bye. So let us just do my love and not stop thinking of this.